Yeah, absolutely. It was uh, really positive from us, uh, the way we defended tonight and uh, and last week as well. There are really great signs for us. It's early in the season and what we're looking at as coaches from our team defensively in the last two games has been really good. The score ball blew out a bit last week uh, with a couple of extra tries than we would have liked, but they were just on the back of some, a, a bit of luck that went the, the, the Gold Coast way. Um, you know, we're disappointed that we've lost that game tonight, but that is a, a, a really massive positive for us, the way we've defended. Why do you think you yeah, it's a good question, and again, that was our issue last week. That was our issue last week, and we have, we've have uh, we worked on, on controlling our thought processes this week. Look, Parramatta uh, deserve credit. Their line moves really fast, and they put us under pressure. Um, and, we, and we just couldn't find it. We couldn't find it, and probably the harder we tried, the, the worse it got. Uh, so that's disappointing and, and we need to improve there. Uh, but, as I say, some real positives at this point in the season to, to defend like that. What did you think of Robbie's first game back? Yeah, I thought he was strong. Uh, it was, um, you know, the way we went with Robbie, I think, worked well in regards to just kicking me out of that first period because, you know, the games, it's, it's helped the skelter out there and. Um, and to, to try and start Robbie and get him through the game was, was going to be too hard for us. So uh, that worked well. But yeah, look, I think in a few weeks' time, Robbie may have been able to find something later in the game for us. But uh, you know, he was he was slowing down as we all were, uh, and we're just struggling to find that that bit of spark to to get the result. Is that why you went with three quarters? Well, I know Dean wasn't that he started. Yeah, the, the idea was to, to just keep Robbie out of that first uh, 15 or so minutes so that he didn't have to do all that defence. And then we were confident that he'd get through the game from there. Uh, we had Manaya on the bench in case we needed some spark late in the game, which which we did. But, you know, we just we just couldn't find the play the ball speed to give Manaya an opportunity late in the game. Uh, so, um, you know, Robbie would have got to the end of the game uh, had we needed him to, which is why we held him out at the start. That was, it, was a, it was a simple plan which worked well, but we didn't get a result. So, some, some of the, um, we talk about him every week, James Tesco, and some of his try saving tackles today on yeah. super, super players. Yeah, yeah, superb. We just talked about it as a group. Uh, yeah, and look, it's a great thing for our club because everyone talks about the West Tigers as an attacking team. You know, and it's not great that we that we haven't got across the trial line today, but it is great that we uh, you know we watched some highlights of our team of our game last week, uh, defensive highlights that we haven't seen from West Tigers, in my opinion, for a number of years, uh, and we'll have some again this week. We'll have some some periods uh, to show the guys where they're just working so hard. The defence is really good, not just uh, the reading of play, but the tackling. Uh, we're making really strong progress, and it's and it's great. We're excited by it, uh, but we need to tidy up with what what we did with the ball tonight because because that let us down. Not too sure. We've been that last two weeks. It's more frustrating than anything. Um, every time we got down there, in we just couldn't build pressure. Uh, I suppose we we're probably just trying to force force the pass too much, and yeah, we just couldn't build any pressure, and it's just putting too much too much emphasis on our defence. The boys are tackling too much, and I think we completed at 65 again last week. Uh, completed at 63, so that's not good enough for our old stand. And as I said, we come to attack, and the boys are a bit all over the shop just because we've defended so much. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's been committed, which is really good. We worked real hard in the preseason about it. Uh, I think, as JT said, our movements and, and, and all our talk has, has been really good. So, but in saying that, we're just putting too much. We're, we're doing too much tackles. It's, it's not good enough for our standard. And we need to hold the ball and build a bit more pressure with the ball in our hand. Um, we're not always going to score tries from the big plays. So I think we just need to build pressure with it. And then, yeah, we don't have to make as many tackles. I think it, it is probably why we've struggled to control it because it has been a couple of games now that we've struggled to control it and the players know what it is. You know, I didn't. We sat down after the game and and they told me what what the problem was. Uh, I didn't need to tell them. They know it, but because 
Uh, we had some some really great execution in in those first couple of rounds. It probably has had a, had an impact, but um, you know, I know it's great to watch, but I didn't love the fact that we won those first couple of games with really high scores for and really high scores against. You know, we've got to get our defence. If we want to play in the semi-finals, you've, you've got to improve the defence. Um, you know, we finished 11th defence last year, which is a big jump up from 16th, I think, the year before. Uh, and we want to go again. We need to get higher. Uh, we finished sixth in attack last year, but we didn't play in the semi-finals. And there are lots of teams who finished in the top eight in attack who didn't play in the semi-finals. Why? Because they don't defend well enough. And we need to improve that. And the last two weeks are really positive in that regard.